so what are some of the things that people do every day uh, or frequently that mm -hmm. may be uh, a problem? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're, if you're lawn mowing, mm -hmm. this is something where, no, you don't want to put headphones in and crank the volume to overcome the lawnmower. <laughs> you want to put the hearing protection in so that you don't hear the lawnmower. Um, another thing is if you're snow blowing. If we're in Erie, so naturally there's quite a bit of snow. If you're snow blowing, put the hearing protection in. Even if you're vacuuming, vacuums can really emit a ton of sound. So, you know, mm -hmm. if you're vacuuming your house, not a bad idea just to put some plugs on or in to protect yourself. Um, a lot of concert goers, certainly, you know, if you're going to a concert, I'm all for it, but you're going to want to listen at safe levels. Um, and, you know, finally, there's, you know, a lot of hunters and, you know, people who shoot guns for sport. Um, right. And that's definitely something, those impulse noises are so hazardous to your ears. So mm -hmm. you've got to do everything you can in that moment to protect yourself. You know, one time can really, really wreak havoc on your auditory system. Yeah, I had a patient once who, um, like he was working in a garage and uh, they were fooling around because they're, you know, college students. And um, at one of the, the other guys blew a, an air gun in his ear. Oh. and. He came in, like two weeks later, he's like, I still can't really hear out of it. I've got really bad tinnitus, like it's ringing all the time. And yeah, so. <laughs> That's the kind around. of stuff that gives me chills. <laughs> <laughs> And certainly, yeah. you know, you bring up a good point. Even a one-time exposure, people will say, well, it only happened one time. One-time right. exposures can leave a footprint, you know, for the rest of your life. You think, mm -hmm. you know, say you go to that noisy concert and you leave and sure, your ears are ringing, you feel like everything is muffled because you can't hear. Right. You know, you wake up in a couple mornings, it's gone. But, you know, you feel fine, but that damage is still there. It has mm -hmm. still left its footprint. So, you know, when we see noise-induced hearing loss, it's this buildup, this accumulation over time of mm -hmm that damage that we incurred when we were young going to concerts <laughs> and you know doing doing what people do